Hello everyone, this is Ms. Adia here and I'm doing your uh, What's My Soul Meet and X Thinking of Me reading for the month of September 2018. This is going to be for the sign of uh, Taurus. Let's see what's coming up for you from your soul meet and from your ex. What are the energies uh, coming up from them? What are they thinking of you? Uh, for the month of September 2018. Um, I will pull two cards for your soulmate energy uh, Like what they are thinking of you and then I will pull two cards for your um, uh, What what's your ex thinking about you? And then I'll pull one additional card uh, as an additional guidance from the uh, Maple cards by Lara Shaw. So um, Let's begin. I will pull two cards. What's your soulmate is thinking of you? What's your ex is thinking of you? And then I will put one card from this Michael card. So let's see what's the guidance coming up for you for the month of September 28th for your love life. Okay. I will read that card at the end. So let's see what's your soulmate is thinking of you, Taurus. Six of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. So I believe they do think of you as a very um. Did they, they do think that you have changed now? And I do believe you are either already with a soulmate or uh, you know them. Um. You already know them, and um. I do pick up the energy that you know they believe that uh. It's it's more like you know they believe that you are um, you have kind of you know uh, changed uh, completely I would say because they believe you were very harsh you were very um, very uh, unstable you were very yeah with that Ace of Pentacles I believe they they do think of you now as a very stable person and I did say you are you used to be very unstable because look at the water here like you know can you see that and look at the water over there it's like you used to be very unstable I think and now you they do your soulmate can see the change in you they can see that visible change in you it's like you are no more the same as they used to be and that's exactly they can see and they can you know pick up that vibe coming up from you for them it's like they believe that you are a changed person and i believe they are somebody from your past and even if you are living or if you are already living with your soulmate it's like you know they believe in you now more than more than ever and it's like they are ready to give um they are excited in fact they are excited to have um this new you it's like you know they they are getting so excited to explore this new you and for those of you who are um who are not yet with their soulmate i do believe that you know your soulmate can see the uh, that you have changed from uh, from the unstable you, from the very uh, impatient you, from uh, you very um, aggressive. Um, it's like you, you they can see that you have grown mature. I think with that, you know, Ace of Pentacles and, you know, Six of Swords here, it's more like they believe that you know you have uh, you have changed and you have matured and grown as a person and they they with that change in you they can see you know they can see a stable relationship with you now and they are ready to explore it it's it's more like you know if you already have that you know soulmate with you 
I believe that um, I believe that you know once you kind of you know kind of moved away from them and it's like you know you worked on yourself and you uh, grown up as a person uh, that has kind of you know attracted them back in your life and it's like you know now they are they when they can see the change in you they are ready to give it a go uh, or give it a second chance with you and for some of you um, For some of you, um, it could be that, you know, your partner, your soulmate might be thinking that now, uh, because you have moved away from them, uh, and now, since you are very, uh, you know, financially very stable and very sound, they, they might be kind of having, uh, you know, um, a second thought on it, whether they should, you know, approach you or not. For those of you who, uh, who can relate to this situation, I, uh, I, uh, I highly recommend you to reach out to them because they might not contact you because of the fear that, you know, you might reject them now because, you know, if some, if it's somebody you, um, it's, it's more like, you know, um, the person who loves you truly is somebody who is not where you are right now. And they might be thinking that, you know, you have uh, moved away from them or from the city they were uh, they were living in before. And because you are now financially stable, they, they feel, um, they find it kind of, in uh, you know, um, impossible to, you know, to have a start with you because they see that you, they, they fear at least. And they don't see it, but they do fear that, you know, what if, I reach out to them and you know uh, they say no to me they they don't they are not ready to have a no from you and that's why they are you know kind of holding themselves back for those of you who know who this person is you you might have kind of you know not because of them you might have you know changed the place where you are living uh now and where you used to live because maybe because there was this new job offer that came up for you and you kind of you know traveled um or you kind of you know relocated to a new person uh, new uh place it's like you know that distance and that you know that um difference between the two of you when it comes to financial uh or standard you know difference between uh difference of standards um uh, you know uh status or standard whatever you call it it's like you know that's the only thing that is stopping that soulmate of yours to you know reach out to you so if you know who this person is if you if you two feel the same connection with that person you can reach out to them and if you are a cross watcher and you are watching this video um i would suggest you to go for it because you will definitely receive a positive response because um this person uh this person might have become more stable in their life, be that emotionally, be that financially, but deep down inside their heart, they are still the same. You might, you know, feel that you feel the vibe that, you know, um, out of your own insecurity when it comes to financially, if I, if I, you know, if I may call it that way, because if, if you are kind of having uh, insecurity that, you know, um, that you are not financially that strong and stuff like that go for it because i do see that you know they they might have you know uh, become more rich uh, than they were before but deep down they're uh, deep down it's like you know they they have the same um they have the same what we call it um I can't, you know, I can't think of that word, what we call it. It's it's more like deep down inside their heart, they are still the same person. It's like, you know, they, they are no, uh, they are not, you know, they have not grown uh, arrogant or proud or uh, that kind of a person with that money that came in their life. They are still the same. They are still... Um, as they will be as passionate as they used to be towards you or towards the other people they had in the past in their life and it's like you know i believe that this person is somebody you already know from the place where you used to live before and it's like you know the only issue that is you know stopping you two is you know the, there are two things that can uh, that i can pick up very strongly the distance and the difference between your uh, social status i would say 
so don't let this kind of you know uh, come between the two of you because i do pick up that energy very strongly that you both um it, it's more like you know you might not feel the uh, that you do have uh, that you love this person right now like you know initially you wouldn't feel the love but there is this you know um calling from within that that you could feel for this person and that's that's why when you or this person will reach out to each other you could um you will see that the person you will you will just forget about this thing you know the financial uh thing or the stability and all that because you will be the same old you together when when you come together you will forget the distance the difference and everything you will feel the connection the bond even stronger than before so that's the energy coming up for you for when it comes to your soulmate energy uh so let me see what's coming up from your ex what what your ex is thinking about you in this month the emperor and the world card So this person could be your ex then um, because your ex is thinking of you the same way as this person is thinking of you. It's like, you know, the same travel energy that they believe that you have traveled and now you are strong. And it's I, I do believe that this ex of yours is your soulmate and they see you as a, um, they see you as a, a as a person in authority now and they are still the same and they don't want to reach out to you because they they um for for some of you i do pick up the energies that you know you're um for some of you this person this ex of yours might have taken you for granted because you were not financially strong that time and that's the reason of your breakup that time. But now, since you are financially, you know, strong, they want to give it another go and you might choose not to give them a chance. But that is uh, for only a few of you. Um, and maybe for, for those of you that this applies, that, you know, you were not financially strong and then you kind of, you know, walked away from that particular situation because you wanted to um, improve your standard. Uh, so you could show this person that, you know, I can also be, um, I can also be, you know, in a position in an, in, in a, you know, in a stable condition when it comes to financial, uh, you know, status and all that. And you might have kind of, you know, walked out of this particular thing because of that, uh, heartbreak that you had with this, per, uh, with this ex of yours. And... Since it's a general reading, it can go either ways. But I do, you know, for those of you who, uh, who uh, you know, broke up with this ex of yours, who is now thinking that now you are, you know, strong and financially uh, good and now you have moved to a good place, they, they might try to reach you out. But um, for some of, you, I, I, some of you, I'm picking up very dramatic or, you know, uh, filmy uh, kind of a thing, a filmy kind of energy. Like, you know, you had this ex of yours who made you to go uh, uh, abroad or away from the place where you live. And um, this person, this ex of yours was the one who pushed you into this, you know, um, uh, who pushed you to travel to earn good money and stuff. Now you have this money and all that. And there was one more person back there in that same time who loved you. And they they might, you know, they never wanted you to move away from them. And it's like, you know, now when, you know, even if they want to try uh, try to reach out to you, they stop themselves because they, they kind of, you know, fear of losing you because they don't want... Um, you to treat them the way your ex treated you so that's i think that is more relevant for most of you out there who are watching it because you know this ex of yours was very um negative uh and they they didn't see the real you and they kind of you know they all they all they wanted was you know the um it's it's more like they were into um materialistic stuff but 
now when you have all the uh, all that materialistic gains in your life um that person who used to love you back then in that particular time too they they uh fear of uh you know uh going through the same as you did when you kind of you know you were with this particular person in your past so um if that's if this reading resonating with you do reach out this person just you know leave the ex behind don't even think about them because they don't deserve you they don't deserve the real you they don't deserve your love care because money and all those things were important to them more than you but for this person from your past this person loved you back then also and they love you and they do have this feeling for you because they are your soulmate so if you know this person reach out to them and if you don't know this person if they know you then i would suggest them to you know i would recommend them to uh, reach out to you because you will not uh, go through what they went through because you are pure with your intention and that person they had in their past their ex was not you know their intention was something else they didn't love them so go for it and i wish you all the best with this relationship that you have with this person with this taurus person so let's see what's coming up for you for the additional guidance with the miracle cards you have this image let me read what it says the key essence in your relationship is honesty and clarity um be true to yourself let go of all the worries and fear of the unknown so it's it's like you know strongly i recommend you your you know your soulmate if you're a cross watcher or whoever you are you know just go with your uh with your inner guidance reach out to this person don't let your fears hold you back and just go for it trust me this person will respond to you in a positive way because your love and your feeling is true for them and um, for those of you who are uh, for those of you who are still angry with their ex uh, for what they did to you for for what they did to you just let it go let let that you know let that all go because it's not going to serve you any good it's it's like you know they were not worth anything just be uh, don't get harsh on yourself thinking about them because they it it wasn't something wrong with you it was wrong with them and their thinking so don't um don't hurt yourself thinking about them don't get yourself angry thinking about them let them go let the past go and let this beautiful energy come in your life and if uh, if you want me to read uh, read the whole thing uh, at the back of this card do let me know i will include that in my next readings when i do because um um do let me know in the comment box if you want me to read it all because i did not read uh, i did not read it for any car, uh, any uh, star signs but if you want then i will include the uh, include the whole thing in the next reading that i'll do so that's pretty much it coming up for you for the month of september 2018 for your love life i wish you all the best and if you if the reading resonates with you do like subscribe and share till the next reading that i do take care bye bye